Delia Lavi, a prominent figure in the realm of film and entertainment, has left an indelible mark through a diverse body of work. Among her many notable performances, one stands out as a defining moment in her career. It's a testament to her versatility and skill that such a varied career could be encapsulated in a single project. The legacy of this particular work continues to shape the perception of Delia Lavis' contributions to the industry. As we reflect on her impactful career, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this seasoned actress. Which of her performances resonated most with you and what moments do you hold dear? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Delia Lavi, an accomplished actress, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Notably, she showcased her versatility beyond acting. In addition to her cinematic achievements, Lavi recorded German-language covers of notable songs, including Melanie's Look What They've Done to My Song, Ma and Gordon Lightfoot's If You Could Read My Mind. Her journey into the world of entertainment began with an intriguing encounter at her 10th birthday party. She met Kirk Douglas, who, a decade later, would collaborate with her in Vincent Minnelli's Two Weeks in Another Town. This collaboration earned her a Golden Globe for Most Promising Newcomer, a testament to her talent and recognition in Hollywood. Delia Lavis' personal life, marked by family and relationships, speaks volumes about the woman behind the on-screen persona. She is survived by her husband Charles E. Gans' daughter Kathy Rothman, three sons Robin, Alexander, and Stephen Gans, along with five grandchildren and a sister. Her legacy, shaped by a blend of acting prowess and musical endeavors, endures through her contributions to both German and international entertainment. Delia Levis' impact resonates not only on the screen, but also in the melodies she lent her voice to, creating a lasting imprint on the world of music. Born in Mandatory Palestine to European Jewish parents, Delia Lavis' early life took a turn when she left her ballet studies in Stockholm, Sweden, to return to Israel in 1955 due to the loss of her father. This pivotal moment shaped her trajectory, leading her to eventually leave an enduring mark on the entertainment industry. Lavis' journey unfolded as she ventured into acting, showcasing not only her cinematic prowess, but also her musical talents. Beyond her on-screen achievements, she recorded German-language covers of notable songs, adding a unique dimension to her artistic portfolio. Notably, her encounter with Kirk Douglas at her 10th birthday party set the stage for a collaboration, a decade later in Vincent Minnelli's Two Weeks in Another Town, earning her a Golden Globe for Most Promising Newcomer. The actress' personal life, marked by family and relationships, speaks volumes about the woman behind the on-screen persona. Survived by her husband Charles E. Gans, daughter Kathy Rothman, and three sons Robin, Alexander, and Stephen Gans along with five grandchildren and a sister, Lavis' legacy extends beyond the screen. Delia Lavis' impact reaches not only the realms of acting and music, but also transcends borders. Her contributions to both German and international entertainment solidify her enduring presence in the world of arts. Despite her passing in Asheville, N.C., her funeral and interment took place in Israel, connecting her final moments to the place where her journey began. In essence, Delia Lavis' narrative is one of resilience, versatility, and a profound connection to her roots, creating a lasting imprint on the world of entertainment. Fluent in six languages, Delia Lavi was a linguistic virtuoso, seamlessly navigating Hebrew, English, German, French, Italian, and Spanish. Born Delia Levenbutch, she adopted the stage name Lavi, meaning lion in Hebrew, embodying strength and grace in her career. Notably, her multilingual proficiency added a unique layer to her international presence in the entertainment industry. Her linguistic dexterity mirrored her versatility on screen and in music. Beyond acting, Lavi left her mark by recording German-language covers of well-known songs. Her ability to seamlessly transition between languages showcased a depth that extended beyond traditional boundaries. In a curious twist of fate, Lavis' passing occurred just a week before her Casino Royale co-star Jeffrey Bailden. This coincidence adds a poignant note to her legacy, linking her final moments with a fellow contributor to the cinematic world. Delia Lavis' impact transcended linguistic and cinematic realms, leaving a lasting imprint on the global stage. Her legacy is one of linguistic prowess, versatility, and a connection to the animalistic strength embodied in her chosen stage name. Delia Lavis' transition from the silver screen to the music scene marked a notable chapter in her career. 
Following the ebb of her film career, record producer Jimmy Bowian discovered her, propelling her into a successful singing career in Germany. Hits like Oh, Juan Comps Do and Wilst Do Mit Mir Jane. This shift brought her a new wave of recognition and success. Later in life, after years of singing and making appearances on German television, Lavi chose a quieter path. She retired to Asheville, NC with her fourth husband, businessman Charles Gans. This marked a significant departure from the spotlight, indicating a deliberate choice for a more private and serene lifestyle. Interestingly, in her personal life, Lavi had one child, Alexander, with her second husband, Peter Rittmaster, with whom she later divorced in 1975. This aspect adds a layer of complexity to her narrative, highlighting the challenges and changes in her personal relationships. Delia Lavis' journey, encompassing film, music, and personal life, paints a picture of versatility and resilience. From the heights of Hollywood to the success of her music career and the peaceful retreat in Asheville, NC, her story is one of adaptation and choice in the face of evolving circumstances. In the 1970s, Delia Lavi transitioned from her successful film career to become a prominent singer in Germany. Hits like Oh, Juan Kampf Du and Wilst Du Mit Mir Jan solidified her as one of the most popular singers of that time. This shift brought her a new wave of recognition and success, marking a notable chapter in her versatile career. After years of singing and making appearances on German television, Lavi chose a quieter path later in life. She retired to Asheville, NC with her fourth husband, businessman Charles Gans. This marked a significant departure from the spotlight, indicating a deliberate choice for a more private and serene lifestyle. Lavi's personal life also saw shifts including her marriage to writer John Sullivan in 1967, resulting in the birth of their son, Reuven. However, the couple divorced in 1970, adding a layer of complexity to her narrative. Despite her reclusive later years, Delia Lavis' journey, encompassing film, music, and personal life, paints a picture of versatility and resilience. From the heights of Hollywood to the success of her music career and the peaceful retreat in Asheville, NC, her story is one of adaptation and choice in the face of evolving circumstances. As we bid adieu to this enchanting journey through the cinematic tapestry, let the luminous legacy of an illustrious performer linger in the corridors of your memories. Your odyssey with the captivating artistry of actress Delia Lavi deserves a moment of introspection. Can you trace the indelible imprints she left on your soul? Recall the silver screen moments that reverberate within your being. In this shared space of admiration and nostalgia, we beckon you to unfurl the chapters of your personal connection with her craft. Share the echoes of her performances that still resonate in the recesses of your consciousness. Whether it's a subtle glance, a poignant line, or the profound emotions, she effortlessly conveyed immerse yourself in the tapestry of recollections. Now, as the curtains gently fall on this reflective interlude, let us collectively express gratitude for the gift of Delia Lavis' artistry, a luminary who illuminated our screens, leaving an indomitable mark on the realm of entertainment. Your engagement in this discourse is a testament to the enduring impact she wielded, and for that, we extend our heartfelt appreciation. Thank you for traversing this evocative journey with us, delving into the realms of shared memories and cherished moments. Your reflections contribute to the collective mosaic of appreciation for a talent that transcends time. With warm regards and a nod to the enduring magic of the silver screen.